Alan Dan here and welcome back to another video where today we are back playing Riddle School and today it's time for Riddle School 5. Now yesterday we played Riddle School 4 and it was kind of like a troll episode but thank you so much for over 100,000 likes yet again. Here is Riddle School 5. Let's play it and just before we start I want to thank you for all the likes in the previous video. Let's see if we can beat that again. It was over 100,000 likes again which is absolutely insane but also this one is supposed to be much much longer than the previous previous ones. The previous ones maybe take like 15 minutes to complete, whereas this one is supposed to be longer. So I might have to put it into two parts. Not too sure yet, but let's hit the main menu and see what's going down. I'm expecting big things because already it looks a lot more clear cut than the other ones. It looks awesome, right? Let's hit play game and see what happens. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's back to like this. Also, didn't we die in the last one? So... How are we going to do this? Well, everyone, it seems soon... What? <laughs> it seems soon our dreams will become reality. So, yeah, in the last episode, we died multiple times. So, I don't know how our little guy is going to come back to life. Just as all of our prisoners' realities have become dreams. What? We all know our new prisoners were taken from Riddle Elementary School. Wait a second. Enlighten our listeners as to the reason we're here already. It was getting to that part, Viz. What's going on? <laughs> this meeting is primarily to discuss these human suspects and their new dreams. Their behavior, after all, is why and how we are going through with our plan. This is very strange to me. Yes, because evildoers deserve nothing more than the taste of their own evil. Oh, this is Fred. Fred! Fred's alive! Yes, Fred is alive. Hello, Fred. How are you doing? We can read the caption next to the corner, dears. I'm enlightening everyone, just like you said. Fred, in his dreams, does as close to nothing as he can imagine. That's pretty much what he does in real life anyway. Of the prisoners we have, he seems to be the least useful right now. Okay. Smiley. Oh, Smiley. She doesn't actually look that happy now. Usually she's really happy. Smiley smiles constantly within her dreams. We've tried to find intended flaw in her ways, not yet to any avail. If one human is proven to be scum, the rest are no cleaner. What? Her face is nothing but a cover for her ugly desires. Ooh, Smiley's evil. Smiley's evil inside. Oh, it's Zack, the very, very cold guy. Zack here was shivering long before he was abducted from that school. It seems impossible that he would be so ongoingly chilly. I know, exactly, right? Unless he's a superhero. This is a chance that by looking into his unusual condition, we could power a weapon capable of freezing that pathetic planet Earth. What? Hmm. I could have sworn I was the one telling the presentation. <laughs> These two guys are arguing. It's me, Phil. How are you doing? Phil McEgg something. I, I can't even remember his name. And here we have the reason for our master plan. That means we're not dead. Something weird is going on here. Had he not witnessed firsthand Phil escaping from his own school, Earth would not have become our first target of destruction. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. We can get into his brain, but what matters most is what we try to get out of it. Knowing the enemy is the best way to defeat them. Are they going to take my brain? Because I don't really, I don't, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, Diz, I can't remember what the plan is exactly. Quiz? You're a completely useless. Exactly. Well, I can clarify. Tell us your evil plan. With the knowledge we receive from these three dream captives, it's planned we completely freeze their homeworld, planet Earth. Oh, jeez. This procedure is to be repeated to other wrongdoing planets. I have one more question. What is it? Go ahead, quiz. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, when you were talking just a second ago, you said from the knowledge we received from these three dream captives. Don't you mean to say four? Of course. Just a slip of the tongue. Who's the fourth one? Hey, why isn't the transmitter turned off? What if one of our subjects hears? Ha ha ha. I've heard everything. I've heard absolutely everything. Sorry, didn't even know it was on. <laughs> it will be turned off in a second. Okay, they turned it off now. Right, so we can hear everything. Something evil's going down, and they want to freeze planet Earth. Look at all these flashbacks. This is insane. <laughs> the production value from the first one to the fifth is absolutely mad. Look at this. There I am, frozen in time, and I have no idea why. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be good, guys. Are we even in a school anymore? Is this even Riddle School anymore? <laughs> Here I am. I like the new design. Very, very clean indeed. I like the music as well. The music is cool. Riddle School 5! Here we are. So it looks like we're in some kind of chamber. Let's see what's going on. That bed is way too big for us, by the way. That's a pillow, but it feels more like a lump of stiff clay. Got a vent cover as well. Uh, if it wasn't screwed to the wall, I could move this cover to get through. Okay. Can we get out? 
I can't open that door. It's barred and has no doorknob. That means it's remote activated from the other side. Okay, what about this light bulb? I have a feeling that light bulb would be the only bright part of my day. I say that very lightly. Ah, I get it. I get it. Right, let's see if there's anything under the bed. Puts the fine back into solitary confinement. So we're literally stuck. Um, are we stuck already? Really? Can we look at the door? Can we look at ourselves? The map, the inventory, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Is there anything I can... Un can I unscrew this myself? I think it's common sense, but I need something to unscrew it. Okay. Uh, there's one screw missing. Uh, we need to find something to unscrew it with. What can we get? Can we just... Can we just grab it? <laughs> I think under the bed. Oh, yeah, we can look under the bed. There we go. An alien coin. I'd mistake this for a quarter if it wasn't for the monster picture on it. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Let's go on here. And we should be able to use this to unscrew it. Let's try there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at the quality of this game now. It's insane. And we always use money for some reason to get out of our troubles. There we go. Into the vent. And oh my goodness. I've decided I don't want to do that again. That's true. Look how amazing this is. This is crazy cool. This is a statue. There's a button on this duck statue thing, but it doesn't seem to do anything. It looks like the pea shooter from Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, we've also got a tile device that does... Oh, is this a puzzle? Was that what I was supposed to do? Um, we need to get the top three. Oh, this is going to be confusing. Do we need to... Oh, it's 4701. Okay, so we need to make the different numbers with that. Let's see if we can go anywhere else first. Card key scanner. I think I was subject 9417. Yeah, it would seem that I am subject 9417 in something. Until today, I've been only a subject of a few cheap school English papers. True. Let's go this way. Oh, hello. Um, <laughs> is this an alien school? I have no idea what's going on. Guard beast. It could- it looks kind of cute, actually. I don't want to take my chances sneaking by into that room behind it, though. That's very true. Let's go- let's go downstairs. Escape pods. Can I just use one of these? It's awfully tempting to just fly right out of this place. But I think my friends would like me more if I saved them all first. Okay. So we've got some screens as well, which are all static. An escape pod sign. Okay, at least we know where the escape pods are. What about this room? That- a room that has a pit of acid. It definitely does. And what is that creature? <laughs> what is that? Metal fish slug, question mark. That metal fish thing looks hungry. It's a good thing it's made of metal. And then we've got an unreachable steak. That steak might come in handy if only I could reach it without being covered in acid. Oh yeah, we could use that to get the alien out the way. Um, fat for gra graffiti. Um, pool of acid. Hmm, I don't think there's anything in- oh, mirror. Oh! There's a door in there. There's a door in the fish's mouth. I can faintly see a hidden door at the end of this metal thing's throat. Okay, so that means we need to get a door to go in the slug to get the meat. I got this. Let's go down this way instead. A life transferring station. Oh my goodness, power panel. Okay, these power things are not working at all, so we're going to need some plugs for that. Note, uh, instructions to properly transfer life from a living thing to a dead animal is easy as one, two, three. Number one, put a living thing where the round arrow sign indicates. Put a dead animal where the other big arrow sign indicates. Press the arrow in the middle of the machine. Also know that a living thing dies when the dead animal comes to life. Okay, we might be able to use that at some point. Um, we don't have a dead animal or an alive animal, so... We don't really need to be here right now. What other machines are here? I'm the man of one title and this is a bad poster. Okay, that's weird. Right, subject 6553. Who is this? Zach, how you doing, buddy? What are these notes? Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, wait, we need to we need to answer the first one first. Uh, remember to feed Oswald the monster. He only eats live meat. Oh, wait. Is he feeding us to them? That's weird. Oh, I forgot. He doesn't eat what he can't smell. So find food with an aroma and put it where the smell can be easily spread. From Nitwit, whoever Nitwit is. Right. Zach, how you doing, buddy? How's he doing? Is he really cold? Oh, jeez. I get zapped. I really hope there's a better way to wake up my friends. <laughs> definitely. He's got like a shroud of electronics around him. He's definitely a superhero, I'm telling you. Okay, so there was one more door that we can go in, which is up here. Now, which subject is this? It's Smiley. We're going to get zapped again, aren't we? Yep, there we go. <laughs> the animation is really cool in this game. So we need to get rid of that electric field somehow. Uh, the flower room, that sounds nice. The dirt flowers, though, they're not very nice at all, are they? Look at these pictures and stuff. What's in the tray? I can take the tray. There's flowers. Can I grab those? It died. Gross. Apparently, my green thumb leaves something to be desired. Ah, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. We're just going to drop it. Gross. Uh, potted dirt flower. Can I take this one? 
This plant's not immediately dying, so I'll take it. Yeah. I don't know what we'll use it for, though. Maybe for an aroma of something. And then we've got a solar light that's just... Imagine if we could do that. Just, like, grab solar light and put it in a glass. That'd be amazing. Um, right, where else can we go? We've got subject 7272, which is Fred. But there's something on the floor. Oh, nice. I think I'll swipe this card so I can swipe the key in the card key scanners. We should go and do that right now. And hopefully... Can we use that in here? Let's see. Boop. There we go. My own room. So I can get in and out my own room now. Do I really need to do that, though? I don't know if I need to do that. I don't think I do. So the only other thing we need to do is the tile device. So I think we're going to have to do this and try and get 4701. I have no idea how. Oh, wait. How do we do this? No, I wasn't supposed to do that. Not all that. All that. Oh, this is going to be hard. Give me a sec. Oh, I can grab these screws. Why would I need these screws? Okay, that's fine. I don't know why I'd need those, though. This tile puzzle is so hard, by the way. Oh, I've done seven. I just need to keep clicking this. I'm just going to keep on clicking it and see what happens. I've done seven accidentally. I didn't even realize I did that. <laughs> oh, jeez. I hate these kind of puzzles. These are, like, my worst kind of puzzles. Out of all of them, these ones I really don't like. I think I just did zero. Boom. Done it. Okay, this is taking me, like, a year and a half, but I'm slowly getting there. I just need to do one and four. I think four is going to be the hardest one because... It just is. <laughs> hey, I randomly did four. I don't know how I did it, though. There we go. There's four. Yes. Oh, man. Right. Well, now we just need to do one, and then we should be good. I don't know what this does, though, but even if we don't need it now, it'll be completed for when we need it. Hey, we got one as well. <laughs> the key to success is just clicking things real random-like. Uh, I don't know what this is done, but we've completed it. So, oh, wait. This is, this is alive now. Let's see what happens. What? Oh, jeez. Uh, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Let's see where we're going to end up. I probably should not. Oh, wait. Am I just invisible now? I think I'm just invisible. Oh, no, maybe not. Um, okay. Press this and it turns green. And then, and then what? <laughs> Why would I need to turn green? Uh, let's see what's down this vent shaft. Oh, no. What is that? A black hole. We're all gonna die. No, it's just a ventilation shaft opening. Sorry to disappoint. So why would I need to turn green? Um, um, I have no idea. Green, and then use the money, and then use the screws, the tray, the flower, the key cards. No, why would I need to turn green? Okay, I've gone back to try other things. I'm going to try this. There we go. Okay, we've got some soil, but I don't know why I need soil. No, you're a moose. You're a moose. How dare you? <laughs> so we know that in this mirror, there's a door here. So where would that door be? It'd be on the left side. So let's go into this room. It must be downstairs, left. It must be up here. It's in this room. Like, really? Really, a hidden door? Of course. There we go. Give me that steak. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that steak. <laughs> yes. Okay, we have the steak now. Let's see if we can use that on this guy. Here we go. Steak. Give me the steak. That doesn't work. Put the steak down somewhere. Can we mix the two? Can we put this on there? Yes, we can. Okay, because he says um, he only takes stuff that smells. What, what, what said that? I don't even remember, but let's see if this works. Go and put this on him. No, I put the steak in the tray. Oh, wait, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. Let's go. Where's the room with the life machine? Where's the life machine? I've lost it. There it is. Life transferring station. I think we can put the dead animal there and then the living animal here. But then we need to turn it on because we need these panels. What about these screws? Ah, yeah, the screws work. Nice. We're making progress, but we need one more. Where do we take? Because there was one screw missing, wasn't there? Uh, there was one screw missing on our thing. So let's go down here, back into our room. Because there was one screw down here. Where would it be? Um, I need to find another screw. It must be in this room though, right? It must be. I honestly don't know where else to check. I guess we could check some of these rooms because we didn't do it properly. We can check under... We could check under these beds. I just need to remember to click absolutely everything because I just... I just haven't. So let's click the light bulb. We've done the notes. I don't think we need anything else. So let's go and do this life transferring business. Here we go. Let's go here and here. There we go. It's active. Can we press the button? There we go. Nice. Should we try it? Let's press it. Oh my goodness. It's actually going to work. Give life to the meat. Give life to the meat. 
that's not what I was expecting. I was expecting a cow or something. But we've made some weird meat monster somehow. <laughs> it certainly is adorable. Uh, oh, that one comes back to life as well, so I could make another one. Let's grab this. And now we should be able to use this to bait out the monster. Let's see. Here we go. Put this on him. I'll put this just down here. Are you sure you don't want this? What if I go invisible and then press it? No. Nothing. How do I... I want to use this meat for good, not evil. I don't know where to put this steak, guys. I have no idea where to put it. It's definitely... I can't even remember where we read about the smelling monster, where he actually likes to smell stuff. I can't remember where we found that information. Was it in here? I can't even remember, but we had information as to when he smells something. That's the only time he goes near something, so... I don't even know what we're looking for. Can we put it in the vent? Oh, we can put it in the vent! Yes! We can put it in the vent. Let's see, can we push it in, or does it just not work? Let's see what happens. Push it in. Push it in. Oh, wait, there's smell. Look, the smell's coming out. Yeah, smell a steak! <laughs> smells good. Yeah, definitely smells good. Uh, is this guy moving now? Let's have a look. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, walking to the monster with meat aroma in the air is a brilliant idea. Wow! Maybe I ought to find a place to sit in. No? How about a place to hide? Well, how about we just go invisible? There we go. <laughs> He's loving it. He's absolutely loving it. Now we can get out of it. Oh, jeez. Why would you do that? Why would you do that, monster? Did he not eat it? Let's see what happens. So, I need to wait for him, maybe, to finish it. Can we go in here? I don't think... Oh, wait. I know what to do. Let's do this. Uh, let's try and lock the room. Yes! I'm afraid dinner to go is not an option anymore. Ha-ha! <laughs> let's go in here and see what happens. Oh, my goodness. This is actually the craziest episode so far. Enter the children's dreams in the chair. What? I can't even see. I can't see with your speech bubble. I could be wrong. This looks important. I can't even read it. Enter the children's dreams in the chair in the next room. Oh, this is deep. Okay. Their dreams will only end when in them they meet doom. Okay. So kind of like when you dream that you're falling and you wake up, you're like, oh, how did I fall off that building? That kind of thing. Something's clicking in my head. Okay, my friends are physically protected by barriers because of this. I can't directly wake them up. However My dream that went on into college stopped when I was killed. It was a dream Their dreams will only end when in them they meet their doom which means We have to make them die in their dreams to wake them up. That's kind of cool. I like that in order to save my friends I must kill them. I have to kill them from within their dreams. I guessed it. I got it. Come on Fred Let's get out of here. Let's do this. This is really deep Who'd have thought that when we started Riddle School, we'll end up here, sat in a chair that will allow us to go inside our friends' dreams. Now, how many friends do we have? Three? This is going to be a long game, compared to the others anyway, which, which is cool, because this is really awesome. Right then, who's ready to sit in the chair? Are, are you ready to sit in the chair? Here we go. Oh, number pad. Oh, I know what this is. We need to go and try a subject. Which room should we do? Uh, this is cold, guys. Let's do 6553. Five, five, Let's do that one. 6553. Five, five, Tick. Here we go. We're going into Fred. Is it Fred? No, it's Zach's dreams. We're going into Zach's dreams. <laughs> this is insane. Absolutely insane, but so awesome. Right, what's he dreaming about? Probably something very cold. Accessing. Analyzing map system. Here we go. Oh, he's dreaming of school. That's cool. Analyzation process complete. What's gonna happen? Riddle School 2. Zach's dream. This is weird. This is so weird. Zach's dream in Riddle School 2. We're going back a few episodes now. This happened! This actually happened! Oh! I don't really like middle school that much. This actually happened. This is so weird. I'd like to kill Zach fast so I don't have to repeat the seventh grade. Oh, man. Riddle School 2. Only about a week ago. A week ago! That sounded more morbid than it was supposed to. Okay, so I need to kill this guy. Are we repeating the same game? How did I kill him before? We had quarters before. So we had a dollar. And then I needed to give the whistle. And then... Can we kill him this way? Deja vu. Yeah, deja vu indeed. Can we just kill him like this instead? Let's see. He didn't die, but he did... Freeze. Can we just smash him? Smash him! Smash him! Hey! <laughs> that is awesome! I killed him! I killed him, Zach! He should be awake now! That wasn't too bad. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Let's go see if Zach's awake. Zach! Zach, you okay, buddy? Yeah, there he is! Zach, you're awake! I th thought I died, but, but because suddenly I felt c c 
cold. I thought you were always cold, Zach. I mean, really cold. <laughs> well, that doesn't matter now. We're in the space station. I can't explain everything, but there are escape pods downstairs. Oh, really? I g guess I'll get going. Yes, you probably should. There he goes. Get out of here, you chump. So there are two more escape pods to go. No, wait. Let's go and see what they are. There's three escape pods. One for me and one for each of my other students, I guess. But this video is already getting very, very long. So guys, I'm going to have to end this part here. I'm really, really sorry, but I didn't expect this to be so long. If you're excited for Riddle School 5 Part 2, where we'll complete this and get out of here, then please leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. I'm sorry I have to stop it here, but I don't want to make like an hour long video. I want to split it into two and make it much more hype. So if you did enjoy, please leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be awesome. And if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDM today for daily gameplay videos and to find out what happens in Riddle School 5 and then we'll eventually play Riddle School 6 as well. So that is pretty much it for me. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter in the description below if you do so wish. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye! <laughs>